guess I'm the oldest here. So <laughs> one reading of this could be retired, you know, honestly I might be retired, if, no, maybe not, but uh, I would be working from here, you know, perhaps without like being in a, you know, thanks to technology and, you know, reducing the impact a little bit with the, rather than maybe teletransporting, you know, video conference, so I, I, I see myself, you know, maybe still contributing from, but from the <laughs> you know, so I love what I do. I want to keep doing it as long as my uh, brain will let me. I just hope to do it from other places in the world. <laughs> I didn't interpret this in terms of location. Um, so this is a clever way to go. Here, he, my paint is painting himself painting a bird from something that's not a bird. No, I think this is, is again, I was, I, literally I've been thinking about this in the last two or three minutes as everybody else was speaking. Uh, I was paying attention to your answers as well. <laughs> I think, so he's an artist. Okay? And I, one thing, I, I'm less concerned where I will be in 15 years' time than where the economy will be in 15 years' time. Thinking about the United Kingdom, what's interesting is we see business schools are growing, some other departments are growing, arts and humanities are being cut drastically. I think that's a real tragedy because frankly I think we've got a lot to learn from these departments. Um, think about impact. Um, the UK government has this research impact uh, calculation exercise. Okay? They do it every few years. And your know, management, you have to prepare case studies. How did your department impact the world? Okay, I, frankly, I don't know what our department said. But I looked at the website of the German department at University College London. It's a department I know quite well. You know, what, what impact would a German department have? But actually, so one of the professors had published a book looking at how people were able to sort of overcome some of the challenges left over from the Holocaust. I thought, you know, there's so many people in other areas, arts and humanities, that we often maybe look a little bit as guns at, and we think, you know, frankly, this, you know, these people are doing really interesting work. I have so many books on my shelves you know, that are not from management or anywhere else, and frankly, it's just something that maybe not in 15 years I'm over the sort of longer term future. I just want to sort of, you know, look a little bit more at some of these other areas, let's say that. No. You know, one motto I've adopted for myself is the world is not served by your playing small. And so I guess all I would uh, encourage you to do is just have the courage to, to risk yourself in a lifelong commitment to whatever you love. You know, if it's this, then go do this. If you find you don't love it, then go do something else. I mean, that's, what, that's my path. That's what I've done. You know? I've loved all my jobs until I haven't. You know, and I, you know, I love this one. Maybe I'll love it for the next 20 years. Maybe I'll decide I want to pivot and do something else. Who knows? Uh, but it's your life, and you have to lead it. So, so there is an American author who said, "Hope is the denial of reality." Okay, so the idea is the world is full of suffering, etc. We all face rejection. As PhD students, you will see that soon as well. But having said that, okay, it's completely, completely wrong. Okay. Actually, hope comes from embracing reality. Once we've gone through these really difficult periods, as we all do, whether personally, professionally, whatever, you know, we understand actually that we do recover. Okay, and it's it's almost it's you know it's from understanding that we've gone through these periods before. You know, the rejection has come, or you know, the supervisor has said this is rubbish or this isn't the theory. So actually, you know, to end on that sort of positive note, actually, I, I don't want to be a little bit, but you know. Hardship is part of life, and actually, the fact that we have all survived so far is a great testament. You know, it's a great testament to the fact that we're actually, you know, there, there, there is some reason to the existence, and the fact that we've just, you know, managed so many, so many different struggles. I think it's great.